Qualcomm uh, announced uh, the new chip, uh, Snapdragon 805. Uh, can you just uh, give us uh, some uh, information about this chip? Sure, the Snapdragon 805 is the latest processor in Snapdragon's 800 line, which is our top of the line processors. Uh, so it's a quad core uh, crate CPU uh, running at up to 2.5 gigahertz. Uh, and what we're showing here is a feature called assertive display. Assertive display is to enhance the ability to read your device in bright sunlight. So this is, this is my sun. Uh, we can turn the, the sun on and off. And if you see on the two sides of the screen, the brightness of the screen is the same on both sides. But this side is more clearly visible, even with the sun shining on it, because of what we call assertive display. And that's a per pixel gamma correction. It's adjusting the colors in response to the way our eyes respond to colors in bright light. Just as at night, when you're in a low light situation, we use red in the dashboard of our cars and things because we know we can see red very easily in low light. Uh, in high light, there are other colors that we see more easily, so it's changing. Okay. And this is actually about power conservation uh, as well as readability. One of the biggest consumers of battery power on a mobile device is the backlight. And when I take my device out in the bright, bright sunlight, the natural response is to turn the backlight up, but that burns my battery faster. So if I can do assertive display, a per pixel gamma correction, I can still read it clearly and not burn as much battery. So just one of the features of the 805. Uh, I'm gonna skip, we have a number of games here that are running on it, but what I wanna show you is a feature of our new graphics processor. This is called the Adreno 420 graphics processor. And the, the graphics processor, or GPU, is very important for gaming and a lot of other purposes. What it's showing here on both this screen and down here is the, what we call dynamic adaptive tes tessellation. And tessellation is creating additional detail, creating additional polygons on the fly. So if you look at the ground here, now it's very simple. To the back of the, the horn, it's very simple. And then with a little bit of addition, it becomes much more complex. You see the recesses, the shadows actually drop down in the geometry. It's moving between around 2,700 polygons in the simple view to almost 210,000 polygons. And this is all being done by the graphics <coughs> processor without going back out to mem main memory and asking for new data. So the graphics processor does it on the fly. It's very power efficient, it's very high performance. This is a feature that is just new to the PlayStation 1 and the Xbox, or excuse me, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, uh, just recently. So it's a, a very high-end graphics feature, and we have it here in mobile as well. Okay, uh, how will this compare to the competition? <laughs> uh, depends on how you look at it. I would say that right now, this 805, there is no other mobile part that can compare in graphics performance to this. What about uh, new NVIDIA? Not even close. Uh, I have to ask this. Yeah, yeah, no, you do, you do. <laughs> I know you're, you're a technical person, and, so. And, yeah, the NVIDIA K1, if you look at the performance metrics that a lot of people are seeing, if you go to some of the popular benchmarks, is closer to the Snapdragon 800 or 801 than it is to the 805. So, uh, when, in which devices do you expect uh, this new chip to, and when? It'll be the second half of this year. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we can't. I can't announce any new devices. That would be the property of our customers. It's up to them to announce their devices. But uh, it will be some uh, big names, really. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.